banging as in you're banging or you're banging as in you're banging. Leg, it's like, what would you describe leg as? I, I know what leg is <laughs> like. Really pain. So really good, really good, basically. Yeah, for yeah. sure. But then like, you that leg man, I don't know, leg man down. Oh, yeah, true. That, you know what I'm yeah. saying? It's also because phrase. Slang's changed over the years as well. Mm. Oh, oh like two two twos now. now. <laughs> 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 like, now. Bro, like, like, imagine like, so if yeah. I'm telling a story, it's like, and then imagine this, two twos now. Yeah. This happened, yeah, etc. Yeah. Money. Money, yeah. <laughs> Like you're taking, taking the piss. Yeah, you're taking a piss. High. What is Style. Style, yeah. Leave like, it, like, yeah, chill, yeah, like, chill, like, relax. Yeah, chill, like, relax. Leave it alone. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is mad. Obvious. Obvious. <laughs> um, yeah, good. And nice, yeah, attractive. Yeah, attractive. Relax. Yeah, yeah. chill out. Like, relax. Chill. That's more Jamaican, but yeah, skinny. Um, like, get, get angry. Mad, like, get, yeah. Could mean like, a couple yeah, things. Yeah, it could mean Banging, like, as in you're banging, or, or you're gang banging, banging, as in, yeah, that's, that's, that's a banging food, or yeah, you're or gang yeah, that's, banging. Yeah, gang yeah. banging, or like, yeah, that's banging, that's nice. Money. Money. Car. Car. Um, weed, drugs. drugs, weed. So if you're seeing not someone, your yeah, not your main. So if you're seeing someone and then you got someone on the side, that's your, your side, side piece. piece. Involved, that, yeah, you're too involved. Yeah, you're too, yeah, yeah. You're you want to know too much. <laughs> also like, like a peng, peng. Like, also yeah. like a peng. Oh yeah, so really good looking one. Mm. Yeah. When we was doing, when me and Ashley was doing the scene in the calf that's also in the trailer, he kept remixing this line, and every time he said something different. Like at one at one point he'd be like, "Oh, what is that? Is that sherbet dib dab or something?" I just started bursting out <laughs> laughing, and it's obviously supposed to be a mad intense scene, and it, <laughs> I just kept laughing in every take. It was <laughs> so bad. The camera will be on you, and he'll <laughs> be like crazy. pulling these faces and like. <laughs> Like and we're trying to be funny. serious, so yeah. Funny. Rehearsals, rehearsals was was I guess the starting point for for us to you know break the ice and like this is a relationship that's super important within the series and we want it to be natural and feel organic and feel like you know it's not forced. It's just it, it, a, a relationship that's gonna continue to grow as the series progresses. Not, no, <laughs> I don't. Shelley's definitely not a musician. Um, I reckon she probably has a really great taste in music, but she's not a performer, so no. Like, I'd walk into um, <coughs> the trailer sometimes where hair and makeup, why are you dying? Okay. <laughs> I'm just where, thinking of like a high school musical yeah, version nah, of Top Boy mm -mm. now. Like, it's but I'd walk into like the trailer sometimes and like, you know, there's someone's blaring music or Ashley will come lugging around his speaker and like, there was just always music around. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I feel like Drake is obviously started as an actor, so he could play, play any role. In, yeah, but for mm. me, if I was writing him, I'd write him in as a, I don't know, like a tramp or something, because I know that's so far away <laughs> from what he is, and to see him just transform into something like that, that's what I'd, I'd love to see. <laughs> Saturn Kendrick done. Yeah, exactly, mm -hmm. empower that, like, you know what I'm saying? It's completely away from what they are now. Mm -hmm. Just the fact that it's always been authentic, it's always been real, it's always, you know, covered real issues that are happening within our culture and, and where we live. And also, the, I think the fans as well, their support has definitely helped keep keep the show alive, even though that there's been that six year break, it's like their, their support and their energy and their love towards it has definitely helped. Yeah, because there's also still nothing like Top Boy, even though it was six years ago or whatever, like when it came, it was like, yeah, we finally got something that's like us and that's so real. Then it's gone off TV and now there's just nothing like it. Now it's back. It's like, yes, again, we've got something that we can um, say that's ours. And yeah, it's good to be a part of something like that. Very true. Very. Like, every, like every situation that happens in the show is something that could happen in real life or has happened, but not to our char characters per se, but it's real, real stories. 
and that's why Ronan is so talented at what he does because he knows what's going on now and he knows real situations so yeah that's why it's so authentic and that's why people love the show so much I know that's why I did because I've never seen nothing like that on TV I auditioned for my little brother on the show Aaron and I came in for a recall like a month later and in the recall I'd done well and they had asked me to audition for the lead which was Jamie the following day and I came done the audition for Jamie and then like a few months later I'd done the chemistry read with Ashley Lisa and Kadeem, who are like my main relationships other than my two little brothers within the show. And yeah, like I got the role, got the call that I got the role like a couple of weeks later. I auditioned for Shelly and that's who I play in the show. Pretty much the same, like I, I got a recall and then I had a third recall, which was my chemistry read with Ashley. And then found out that I got the role. I was like, my character is um, Jamie, who is a young, ruthless gang leader who is basically trying to make his way to the top in the, in the ends while Deshane and Sully are away. And then they obviously come back and while he's trying to maneuver his way to the top, they're trying to operate this system how they used to operate six, seven years ago. And as, as it is in real time, this, this is not how it operates anymore. Um, he's basically showing them now that the youngers are, are taking over and they're actually ruthless and they don't care about this um, old rule about respecting your elders or whatever. He had to step up to become a mother, father and an older brother um, to his two younger siblings and yeah, just showing both of those sides for me was, was very difficult because I, in, I never related to Jamie in like the aggressive way because I've never been on road and I've never really done anything like that. What I can say is finding those, those energy, so relationships with the brothers that you can find that in a different way. So how I, how I am with my um, little sisters, how I am with my mum, just the little things and also um, with being ruthless and angry on the road is just connecting with it of when I used to get upset or seeing how someone else used to operate and also watching a lot of um, other leading men characters on screen so Tommy Shelby um, from Peaky Blinders, Ghost from Power like it's, it's just good characters to see how they operate and how to lead you know <laughs> I'd say Power because obviously Power's on Stars but it's also on Netflix I get showcased on Netflix as well. I'd love to see Jamie linking up with Ghost <laughs> or Jamie linking up with Tommy. That would be sick, you know, that would be crazy. Maybe like flip it on his head completely in like The Crown or something. Because it's still, it's still based in England, isn't it? It's still Ooh, London. Yeah. So it'd be interesting to see those that are really higher up and then like the cast from. That would be mad. The Queen giving yeah. Jamie a call, like. Stop. <laughs> <laughs>